morning guys so i got up early this morning my name is karenna this is shanae and we are building strength by moving off grid become part of the story on patreon and read our private blog sponsor a square meter of the enough garden and watch it come to life and um, i started closing up the enough garden Now. just see all the new grasses coming out after we had all these branches laying for a couple of weeks or months now that i pick it up you can see all the grasses coming up so last night i went in the dark and i grabbed a few chickens especially my rooster who's the main one and cut the one side of their wing just so that they don't fly over over the fence but i want to show you guys i put some nice dusty soil um soil in here and these girls are loving it they are all having a dust bath at the moment i don't know if you guys can check you see them there see if i can get you guys flip this camera around oh someone's coming to check me out now Also got them some nice grass that they could eat some weed seeds out of it. So yeah, let's see if they go back tonight by themselves. Here comes another girl. After I sorted out the chickens this morning, I started digging some soil back into the enough garden hole, if you may call it that way. I've layered it with... Um, with branches and stuff and um, then i'm going to layer with soil and manure etc etc so we can build up some healthy soil so i'll quickly show you guys here so you guys can see this is where i've now already put the soil over top that is what it looked like i still need to do that side now so we'll put some soil over that's it i have some grass clippings and manure some healthy soil from where the cows usually graze and then I'll be layering that that side of our property if you guys look that side there underneath those trees there's lots and lots of thick layers of leaves that's compressed and compiled there already I don't know if that's the right word anyway so I'll be putting some of that in here too so now you guys can see here I cleaned up these bushes I want to trim this up a little bit and clean out around this tree so that I can bring the additional chicken netting around this side once I've put all of this in so that the chickens can now actually walk on this space um, and fertilize it even more. So for you guys that are new to our channel um, and have not been following us around, Off Grid Strength is myself and my wife. We're telling the story of how we are building our homestead but we also have a non-profit called Rain Off Grid, which focuses more on teaching the community, the youth and everyone how to grow food for themselves, um, to, to battle food insecurity in South Africa. Um, so we want to teach them the skills of, of how to implement those and also help them to implement it in their communities by growing food gardens at their own homes, um, at the schools. Obviously, we'll be using our space here to, um, to teach the kids and people that are interested in this. So, the way we are raising funds for this, you can buy a Renolf Grid t-shirt for $30. You can contribute $44 for a 12-month period. Um, and that will be contributed to where, towards one square meter within this enough within the enough garden that we've built um, and you will get monthly updates um, to tell you what we are currently busy with what is the next step and how your square is, is going um, that cost will cover our fuel for our 
machines that we do need seeds compost building material because i still need to enclose this to protect it from the monkeys around here and then obviously off-grid strength which is myself and my wife we will be contributing to the physical labor for the project um, so yes let me get going and see how far we get Okay, so it is evening time. It's around six o'clock in the evening now. I've decided I'm gonna inoculate our soil now after I've put all the bio material and everything in it. So I just want to show you guys quickly what this looks like. So you get these different vials of microbial life. Um, each one of them have a different purpose within the soil. I'll show you guys here. There it is. So these are the microbial um, vials that we got from Living Seed South Africa. I'm gonna mix this now. It's dark. Which I think is good because I think the sun do damage and kill it. It's a lot cooler and most of the instructions says that you should not apply it when it is warm outside. Another thing also is that it's going to start raining in two hours according to the, to the um, weather. So I'm thinking, let's apply this now. It's nice and cool so it should survive. I'll quickly mix it in. And then when the rain comes, because some of the instruction also says that the soil should be, uh, should be wet too. So then it can wash um the microbial life like drench it a bit into the soil too i think there's a quite a nice layer now if we if we dug about 0 0.7 0 0.8 meters deep there's 20 centimeters left i mean that's about a half a meter of depth of soil and compost and branches and leaves and everything which would be great for the microbial life to feed on and break that down so that when we do want to um we do want to plant the microbial life has already broken down all the different types of um, nutrients because the job of of microbial life is it breaks down the materials um and the nutrients so that it is accessible for the plants um to take it in through their root systems which basically if you don't have the microbial life to break down the materials within the soil so that the plants can absorb it through their roots it's you're gonna sit with a little bit of a problem so it's dark now i'm gonna put some lights up for me i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to film um and i'm gonna have the 10 liter um pack on my back so let's go i'll see if i can show you guys So, part of my daily duties is to wake up and open up for the for the chickens because I cage them. Oh, what is that? I cage them up to keep them safe from predators and stuff. So, which means I also need to close them up at night. So, I see they're all... Oh my word, look where's that one sitting? On top of the roof, but I guess she feels safe there maybe. We'll see. Let me show you. Look where that lady is sitting. Right on top of the roof tent. Let's go see if we can maybe help her in. She's going to get cold there and it's going to rain. I need to get over. How am I going to get her down there? Without really spooking or injuring her. How did you even get there, darling? Huh. Of got some sticks there i guess i can just push her off too let's see how this goes i can also show you guys all the ladies here hello guys hi guys we have a massive massive hailstorm i've never experienced something like this it's thundering you guys probably i don't know if you can hear me i'm gonna swing the camera around I'm trying to show you guys how big it is. It's massive ice balls coming down. Look here on the floor. 
They're about the size of grapes. Let me quickly jump out here. Look. I don't know if you guys can see on the floor. And all the white. That's crazy. Whoa. Look there. Now they say, especially in Gauteng, this is the chicken coop. Especially in Gauteng, these things can be like as big as an egg and it actually damages cars and crops.